Um, grace, grace to you, good people over the world. Um, First Chronicles chapter 4, verses 9 on your bread of life today. And I'm going to talk to us about don't just fit in, stand out, part one. Don't just fit in. You're not in that marriage, in that community, in that family, in that school, in that church, in that department, in that service to just fit in. God expects you to stand out. Hallelujah. Because he has put seeds of greatness in the inside of us. So all of us have got seeds of greatness and we ought to ensure that they are increasing. Glory to God. So the NKJV version says, Now Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. You see that? He was more honorable than his brothers. And his mother called his name Jabez saying, Because I bore him in pain. Now here is a story of a family of brothers and it's only one person who is mentioned, one person whose name is standing out, and that is Jabez. We know nothing of his brothers, of his brothers, except him. There is something about him that caused them to stand out, and we shall look at that in part one and part two. So, God didn't bring us into this world to just fit in, like I say. He brought us to stand out. Irrespective of your background and circumstances, you have been equipped with everything good you need to stand out, and be great in this world. The Bible says his divine power has given to us everything pertaining to this life and godliness. You understand? Everything you need, everything you want, God has already given it to you. Okay, so back to our text. Jabez, a child known as one who brought sorrow to his mother, was the most respected son in the family. Okay, it was not the circumstance of his birth but the eminence of his character that made him more honorable than his brethren. You see that? Okay. It was upon that account of his much learning that Jabez was eminent. It was his learning. It was his learning. The Bible says in First Chronicles 2.25, in learning, uh, in learning, why do I say in learning? Because I read. In learning, it was because we find that the families of the scribes dwelt at Jabez. The families of those who read, the families of those who, who wrote books and, 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 and in all these things was in Jabez, meaning that Jabez was a great reader. If you go through history, it stresses, it, it stresses back to Jabez as a great reader. That is what made him more honorable than his brothers. It is said that not all leaders are readers. But all readers are leaders. If you want to lead, read. Okay? Read. Leaders, readers, sorry, readers are great leaders. They are great because they always have that extra knowledge of a matter that other people don't have. There is something about a great reader. They'll always have extra knowledge. Okay? And people will come to them because there is something they know that other guys don't know. This is what made him more honorable than his brothers. This is what made him stand out in that family. So friends, if you are to stand out, according to our theme text today, be willing to inculcate the discipline of much reading. Read. Somebody knows us Africans, if they want to hide something, <laughs> they hide it in a book because they know Africans don't want to read. They know Africans don't want to read. But let me tell you something. Much reading and learning puts honor upon a man and will cause such a man to stand out. Read every day. Grow in skill. Grow in all these other things. But have a moment where you know that you're going to be a great reader and read something. If, it is, if you love uh, music, read about music. If you, if you, uh, if you like uh, flowers, read about flowers, whatever it is, but you will begin to have extra knowledge concerning a given topic that other people don't have. And because you have it, because you have the wisdom, many people will come looking for you and that will cause you to stand out. So for me as a pastor, I read and I study the word. And that is why I have in me a new oil and, 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 and old oil that I can bring to you every single day. That's why there will never be a day that you can miss your bread of life because I also read. I have something that I share every day and it is new, new topics. Why? 
because I read. And this is what is causing me to stand out. People are listening to your bread of life. People are reading your bread of life because a certain man chose to inculcate a discipline of reading the Bible that it becomes my bread before it becomes your bread because I chose to read the Bible every day. This will make you stand out because you'll have something that other people don't have. Are you a reader? Start reading your Bible. Start reading books. Start growing in knowledge. And that knowledge, the Bible says, will be the stability of your time. Read about a certain topic. Let me tell you something. You will find people who are looking for answers and you will minister solution and you will minister answers because you have something. And once you do that, I can guarantee you one thing, that the best is yet to come. And God bless you.